Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the Asus Gaming Laptop, and let me show you how the keyboard looks like. If you have the same model as I do, and also if you want to match the model number here, it's actually a GL731G, and uh, this is Asus Gaming Laptop. So what I'll be doing here is um, I'm going to apply a new thermal paste. Uh, sorry, I'm going to apply a new thermal paste on the computer. Uh, this laptop here is overheating. At times, it can get the temperature really high. And at certain times, the computer shuts off by itself while playing games. So, um, I wanted to do is to make sure that the fan is spinning okay. Uh, there's no, not much dust on it. So, do some cleaning as well as apply a new thermal paste. Alright, so um, let's go ahead and remove all the screws. The screws are not the same size, so make sure you're not mix match the screw. So far, the only two small screws are actually the, the top here. Um, those two screws are a bit smaller. The rest of other screws are still long, much longer than the, than the one I'm pointing about. And the other two screws here are the same as the top here. However, there's two screws on both sides here at the end, they do not come out. So do not try to force it out. The screw just stays on. Just loosen up the screw and that should be it. Now the next step I need to do is to pop open the back cover. Alright, so at this point, you see how I'm holding the back cover here, I'm not yanking it out because as you can see, there are two cables are still being attached. And this two cable I attach is actually for the lighting here, so you, um, that's, that's what it's for. So you can kind of like flip the back plate towards yourself and go ahead and lift up that clipper. The clipper is actually white in color. Lift the clipper up and slide the cable away from your body. And same thing goes for this. Lift the clipper up, slide the cable away from your body. Okay, now you can remove the back cover here. So this is the um, Asus laptop. As you can see that the uh, fan is actually quite dusty and dirty. So I'll be cleaning the fan. At the same time, I'll be applying a new thermal paste on the uh, uh, on the system. All right. So the first thing I need to do is go ahead and slide down the CPU fan connector. There's no clipper or anything for this one. You slide it down to your body, and for this connector here, you slide to your left. And let's go ahead and remove the screw. And you need to peel the um, plastic, this little plastic, peel it off. And the entire fan would just come out without any problem. Now let's do for the other side. Okay, so 
I'll come back and use the A can duster to dust it off. And the next step I need to do is to remove the uh, heat sink. Okay, once all the screws are removed, let's go ahead and slowly pry it open. So they do have thermal pad underneath here, the metal, the silver part, I think those are thermal pads. And the thermal paste is actually right at the copper side of it. Alright, so what I'm trying to do is you need to wiggle a little bit because the thermal pad are still sucking onto the, uh, the base. So there you can see that the thermal pad are melted, right? So what you want to do is you want to clean it off, wipe it down, and use the alcohol wipes here. So kind of just wipe it down and apply with the new thermal paste. Once you apply with the new thermal paste, at the same time you can use the thermal pad and wipe down the CPU and the uh, uh, graphics card. Wipe it down, clean it off, apply a new thermal pad if you need to apply a new thermal paste on it put it back down put the screws back on you want to come back and dust off the uh, the CPU fan and put everything in a reverse process and hopefully that would cool off the laptop prevent from any overheating problems alright if you have any question comment below thanks for watching I'll see you next time